battle with, but at the same time, it brings such a strong element, good moves to yeah. the game, to the event. But you don't see it coming. All right, I think we're loading in. I think we are. We are coming in. Oh, just a picture with a legendary <laughs> Pokemon. I love it. Got to flex. Got to flex. All right, we got the old man right on the side. Okay, King Gambit, Bill, Bill, Bill. Sinistra. Sinistra. Yeah, don't. I can't oh. pronounce it either. But it's like the the new the new in the DLC, the Sinistra. Uh, yeah. All right, so they're gonna pick their move. I I have to say, like the really good King Gambit pick. King Gambit pick is yes, and also, if I'm not mistaken, it's her ability is usually being empowered by other Pokemon dying. So oh, a little it's bit game interesting over. to see it as uh, beat. I'm not sure what this one happened. Yeah, I'm just curious if that was like a hard beat hit. What no, it was Captain Flying. Yeah, well, yeah, so there's uh, one. Oh, wait, okay, well, let's take that. This is a good opportunity for King Gambit to get the level. Well, we're going to need to force the attack soon, Jeff. Alright, that's nice. This makes me think Sucker Punch is being covered. But we gotta worry because the Sinistra has rage powder. I don't think Sucker Punch will actually hit that hole. Uh, it will not. So thank if you got yeah, because you got. rage powder is plus two priority, Sucker Punch cannot activate because it, in order to have Sucker Punch hit, it needs to be either faster in the priority bracket or other priority has to be. Okay, okay. Why would the stats? I wish God give me those stats for my daily day life. Yeah. I could really use them. File your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> you are three pounds heavier than you were yesterday. <laughs> Ooh, swapping out too. So even if the sucker punch was in that slot, it was not gonna matter because the switch was negated. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, okay, okay. That's a good strategy right there. Oh, we're doing crap for a nation. I think it's just John was out of the time. It's bad guy. Poison. Alright. Oh, they're gonna put their attention to their maybe defensive trap Okay, I'm gonna get a quick switch. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to switch into here. Okay, in a second, Cheese adapting. I'm, I think the future is actually really good. Let's see adapt that to the Yeah, Cheese transpired. And it's definitely a different person I think we're expecting to see. Great thing. You can't go wrong. Because right now, they're in the same position. The, 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 the defensive drastization. Let's get out here. Really good adaptation there. A little bit of drain, but still, the Iron Man going down. If I get here. This is a very close battle right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, this is a, there's a lot of switch, good switches, a lot of strategic choices, and nobody's, like, nobody's slipped up yet. Yep. Everyone's talking about it. I think we're seeing a lot of good adaptations. I think if you look at the state of things, especially the start turn, mm -hmm. uh, the electric field, the iron hands, you're like, oh, that's a bad situation. But John Woods been doing a great job adapting to that. Right, bouncing back is so big. You don't want to find, the more you sink yourself in that hole, it's so much harder to get yourself back out. 100%. Yeah. Uh, big choice coming from Woods. I love the stare down right here. Yeah, this is too. a great screen. Just stare <laughs> yeah. down. Close up to the Pokemon itself, like, like, and the trainers, like, these pairs are instructions. Alright, the attack is coming out on the King Gambit. Let's see if that was the right call. Iron Hands oh, also nice. protecting! No, who cares to see what the Futurch is gonna do? Oh, okay, Dazzling Queen. But that was protected. Yeah. Alright, will Futurch? I know Futurch is not very good. Yeah, oh, it just Ooh. lived to HP! And the Thunder Wave coming through on the Flutter main, so the Protect did really matter. That's not good for what are we, like, that's what we call the ghost character. It's coming back to haunt you. Yeah. You should have, that, that character should have died there, then, and instantly. Because right now it's going to not be, not, not be good, good position for them. No, yeah. You are uh, a little bit, a little bit scared <laughs> if that just happened to you, I think. A hundred percent. But nobody died just yet. We kept things very close to HP, but we're not dead yet. So that's all. Now the question is, do you sack is this it? Is there, is there a journey over just to like go in? Because I know Iron Hands just use protect. It has to commit to an attack or switch. I don't know. I think, I think both options are viable here. I think you need to weigh what you think is going to happen. And it looks oh, like we are okay. getting the switch. Okay. Maybe get enough, maybe get enough to train later in the battle. Switching back into the, I 
still can't pronounce that. Sinister? Sinister. Uh, Sinister. Yeah. I'll get there. Right <laughs> Pokemon's still pretty new to everybody. So. Oh, Fluttermane oh, was paralyzed. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, King Gambit once again attacking the Iron Hand, bringing it down to the low with a wild charge going in on the Flutter okay, Me. Gone. The extra damage from Electric Terrain is just what they needed because their, their position was looking very bad. Patrick was like starting to fall back. Yeah. They did get some recoil damage there, so might be able to take care of Iron Hand this next turn, but now we got a pick. We'll be swapping back in to take the place of this now thing to Flutter Mage. Right, like, do you bring in Real of Boom and reset the terrain? Or, because I think thought is they, they took the church in out so that uh, Real Boom did not have the grass. Never mind. Right. Boom. Right. Boom. Right. Boom. The not Salamence. No. <laughs> oh, but th that was really smart because they get the effects from the field uh, advantage anyway because of their ability. Alright, what are you going to get here? Roaring Moon is an intimidating Pokemon. I would not be want to be in that cave where you catch it because that no. is no, no dice, man. Absolutely not. All right, going for another Protect on the Iron Hands. I really like that the commitment to Iron Hands is here. It's about to it. Knock Off is going to take out the Sinistra, and it's a crit! You to hate to it, see dude. it happen. Oh, unfortunate. It's a little damage with the Rocky Helmet. You know, it's like, that's like the big, if I'm going down, you're giving you a Okay. Oh, okay. Now going to be protected. The Iron Hand's not gone just yet. Got to choose a new character to swap into. Okay, to get the Iron Bundle, this is not the best position for Iron Bundle, being on the electric train, but we'll see. Um, I guess with Real Boom in the back for uh, John, so we'll see how like, he can turn this around right here. Yeah. You do get the Quark Drive at least, so special attack raised a little bit. That's not nothing. But... You need, you need something a little bit more, I feel like. Yeah, like, like a game-changing attack or a strategy that really, like, turns the tables. Right, you got lucky a little bit. Because the other thing to consider is Pinurchin is sitting on 2 HP in the back. You still have it, but... Like, how effective is that going to be? Exactly. And I think, um, if it's item, it already burns it the first time. Right. So, but it's not a very good position for the game. I think Patrick needs to turn it around right here. This might be it! Rastalize coming through. Who's it going on to? Goes on to Iron Bundle. What are you going to get? Water! It's an okay. attack. Interesting. Okay. okay. Water Country Terrastalize. Alright, so now we have a second time stab. Ooh. That's not going to matter. Oh, no the Hydro Pump. That is going to work with the damage. Not going to survive that one. That was an amazing kill. Because... He, need, he needed something to bring it back. Yeah. Man, as far as I'm like, they have all of their Pokemon. That's huge. That's two Pokemon down in one turn. I think you're only left with two Because Flutter Moon... Fluttermane. Fluttermane. I thought they uh, tagged out. We're going to see right now. I might be wrong. I thought Fluttermane went down. Oh, we get the grass surge. It's not going to be good for John as Churchin in the back is just going to reactivate the, tra uh, the electric train. Oh, I think you're right. I'm it's looking yeah. like. No, okay, so. Fluttermane went down. I believe mean, that might have been missed earlier, but uh -oh. I, I thought that. All right. Torque Drive is worn off. We got the Grass Parade. Okay, so this is a big choice for Real Boom. Real Boom doesn't have, like, have as many powerful moves as he did in Sword and Shield. We're going to really hope that this, this is the read. Okay, he doesn't switch out the Water Pokemon. I think you really have the advantage with Electric Surge when you push back out. Yeah. Let's see what they do. That is going to help you get a uh, freeze dry. That might be dead. Not oh. quite dead. Okay, hold on. There is there is potential oh. to super effective hit back. Okay, wait. There, it's not over. Happen. Something could happen. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. That is sitting on a prayer. But this is going to be really tough. Rilla Boom needs. You know, big slap and move right here to kill this Iron Hand. You just need survive the church. You need a lot of luck because you got to survive two attacks. And you need the prayer of our kids at this point to really survive this next right. Time. So let's see what they do. Sucker punch. Oh, and they live. Living, oh. but can we get rid of the Iron Hand for attacks? No. We cannot. That is going to be really boom. I think the recoil would have lost him in the battle yep. anyway. I think that was kind of a, all right, you got me. Yeah. Let's, let's move on to the next battle. Move on to game two. I respect that.
pretty close game though. A couple yeah, yeah, of lucky, lucky turns here and there, but for the most part, very well fought on both sides. And you know, you gotta think that way when you're entering a Pokemon battle. Right? It's gonna be a little luck. It's gonna be a little right. grace of God. It's gonna be a little opportunity presented at every moment. Did every you time. say God? Oh, oh, hi God! Right in time. So I will, I will admit, I did see Patrick's team uh, on Thursday when I played him at a local, and then I played him yesterday in a main MSS. So I saw his team. And I'm like, if you come. I really want to put your your match on screen Ooh. because I will put it out. I don't know how much you guys know about BGC, but Team Christian is not really good. Not good. Not <laughs> yeah, not good but it has its only niche is the fact that it sets up electric terrain because Iron Bundle, well, any Mon with Quark Drive as an ability can't really use it unless you use Booster Energy, and no other Pokemon in the game have as an ability Electric Surge, which sets up Electric oh, yeah. Terrain. Oh Pokemon can do it. So Patrick was able to find a way to make it work, and now is using an Iron Hands with a 1.3 times boosted ability, which is really good. Yeah, and that seemed to be Iron Hands' like main flaw was that it does good damage, but it doesn't do like that one hit KO damage. So right. To see it, to see it, and it got up, that. It got that one hit KO last game. Yeah, and as God was just saying, like I've been playing since Sword and Shield, and like I know for Churching is straight not good. So it was very interesting to see it even live as long as it did. Like, it survived, like, that hit to 2 HP. I think that was really telling for John. So he was going to be trying to, like, kill those those terrain setters. Yeah. Because that was all a battle of terrain right there. You saw the electric and gravity terrain head-to-head. -head. Right. And that electric terrain was out for the most part. That was the primary terrain on the field. So... You know, you kind of have to. You kind of have to think about that going into this next one. Are you going to fight harder for that terrain, or are you going to maybe going to pull back, try and let that terrain stay on, and maybe do a counterplay there instead, try and work with it rather than against it? I think originally that's why he brought out I, uh, King Gambit because the, he's a, a steel Pokemon who's not really as affected by the electric Pokemon terrain. Right. But it kind of did him a little dirty there. So we're going to get into the next phase of the battle and see what adjustments were made. Yeah. Oh, that is an old, uh, old person. It is an old going. person. Yeah. Oh, kind of wave. So sweet of you. Okay, the same startup. Okay. Different startup. Weezing and Iron Hands. The Cantonese Weezing in full effect. And correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, a big usage of Cantonese. I don't think actually Galarian Weezing is in this game yet. I don't believe it is. I don't think it is either. I think that's in the next update. Possibly. But the neutralizing gas from Weezing also stopping. This Pokemon is a game changer. Yeah. Like. Gaining all the abilities on the field, that's just so good. Yeah. It, it has a lot of uh, survivability. And Super it's good defensive wall. That poison typing has always been fantastic in defense. And Weezing, weirdly one of the better ones. Right. I really like how they brought Weezing into the battle this time to kind of like change how the meta was going to look. The last battle was all about the range. This battle was boring. Straight, straight pistol pass. Yep. And going straight from Thrasylite on the kick of it again. Back to poison. Back to poison. I like that. I like that. You know. <laughs> That's the thought process of surviving. Surviving this round. Okay, protect. I like that. And what are we gonna get out of real blue mind? Oh, nice fake out. Oh, nice play. What a read. That way, um, Padgett's turn completely wasted. It's like a free sword thing. Yup, that's a really good setup. What a, what a start. That's a really good start right there. Uh, okay, I was gonna leftovers. Alright, okay. leftovers. That helps the tankiness a lot. As soon as I saw the light up, I'm like, oh, I've seen that one too many times. Yep. Leftovers. You know that sound. <laughs> sound it's leftovers, good. baby. <laughs> All right. I want to see what, what what else Reason can bring to the fight here. Because he's doing his job already uh, as a passive, making sure nobody's abilities are going up. But what else of course, can he be really doing out here? Honestly, I, it's just a wall, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's here to stay alive, draw fire, <laughs> and eventually, you know, it might kill something after 10 right. turns. But... Do you want to let it get that long? True. You really want to try to end this as quick as possible so your opponent doesn't have time to set up their shop. And right, and especially with King Gambit having sword, st uh, sword dance up, those sword stance uh, sucker punches are going to hurt. Yes, they are. So you got to look for ways to protect yourself. And I mean, Iron Hand already used the tech. And it's just going to fly out. Yeah, I'm no, out of here. I get that. Oh, that's a good defense uh, to change that. Okay, back into Sinister. I love this Pokemon. It's so cute. <laughs> Big defense. Okay, optimal play defense. Expecting more offensive retaliation. Oh, nice. so that was a really strong switch. Not that much damage. And Wilbur's going to get just a little damage off of that from the Rocky Home. Gunk shot with that's going to hurt. He's dead. Oh, yeah, that's a crit. And a crit, yo. Oh, I yeah, I hate to see it happen. It's not good. 
just like that, we always just saying how John is cooking. Pat walked up, turned off the stove, and was like, never mind, it's my move. Yo, my oven now. Yeah, <laughs> this is my kitchen. I'm cooking here, you're oh not. Oh gosh, that was a big play. Oh, we get the roaring move back in action. Coming back out, didn't get to see much of it last time, because it kind of just came out and then immediately got one shot. Which was unfortunate, but we might see more this time. Okay, Roaring Moon, I'm pretty sure is solely a flying type. Yep. That, that's not a really good look against this electric stuff I mean, like team. I'm starting to feel like this is going to be really ugly. Maybe he's predicting a switch? Oh, Mage Powder. Uh oh. We saw that last game. That was not great. That also turns off the Flutter Wind. Tailwind's going to come. Through. Uh oh. That'll help out a little bit at least. Never mind. No need for Sucker Punch. Tailwind is out here. Kowtow Cleave, though, going to work around that. Gets a little bit of damage on it from the Rocky Helm, but Sinistra is going to go down this time. And with the Black Glass side of that gives the Tower Cleave doing extra damage. Nobody is Swords Dance, Black Glasses, game over. It's like Wesker and Resident Evil. Nobody's surviving the shades. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not looking good for Patrick right here. All right. We still don't know what that last Pokemon is. We don't, but we do know that the Weezing is using leftovers. <laughs> Getting back to full HP. <laughs> True, it's like nothing happened. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just back to full, you know? Complete, it's a fresh Pokemon. It, it's missing a couple of PP, but don't worry about it. It's a yeah, fresh don't, Pokemon. Don't worry about it. We're, we're, we're doing good. So this is a really tough pick to pass. This is a game-changing pick. Yes, this will definitely determine the game, how it goes, and Iron Hands is going to be the pick coming through. That future Pokemon look insane. I love their look. Some gigantic, like, Duff Hands. Yeah. So I'm curious what these picks will be. Oh, I respect that. Swapping back out just there for the tailwind. And hey, that works. That gets the speed going up. We got the water range. I believe this is the exact same team as last time. Yeah, literally. Yeah. I, uh, Roaring Moon did exactly what they needed to do. Activate the tailwind. Water range going to Yep. Now it's how going to one shot the freezing wall. Uh oh. And neutralizing gas is gone from the field. So things are going to get a little dicey for um, Patrick here. We might just see. The King Gambit sweep at this point, oh, I feel Gambit. like. And without even having the um, uh, Fallen Allies ability, the one that... Right, yeah. Uh, that's Supreme Overlord. Supreme Overlord, that's what it is. Yeah, th so just noticing that the King Gambit, no, just speed boosted. I'm so curious about these stats that they have for speed because they are just looking at yeah, King Gambit appears to have been the centerpiece of the build around for this team. I mean, everyone else on this team seems to have some way to kind of help the King Gambit do something. You notice that a lot in Pokemon World. Like, a lot of people will center their, their strategy around one or two teams with one or two strategies. Yeah. That really speaks to how they are as players. Yeah. Like, you notice that um, Patrick loves this electric terrain, but not like, so far, not showing us that they have the church is like really big. We need to know like what is, what's coming. Right. Oh, but we well, have Terrastalize. That's coming. Terrastalize is coming. Who's it going to? I believe. Oh no, Iron Hands. I like it. All right. The fire. We're getting the fire Iron Hands. Okay. Not so much a uh, uh, an offensive Terrastalize as it is a defensive one. But it's not gonna even matter. Death. Yeah. Iron Bundle goes down. This Iron Hand. I think it's the last. Well, that's not very effective against fire Pokemon. It is good at helping with that Fluttermane, who I believe has voice specs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, this is the last Pokemon. Oh my god. Yes, this is the last Pokemon. That's not good. It's a yeah. very cool, fully healed team. It's it's a choice specs Fluttermane, so you do have the benefit of having, you know, resistance to that fire type, but Fluttermane's just gonna go away now. Doesn't We're even want to risk it. coming back. Yeah. This is a bad situation to be in. Kowtow uh, Cleave like might dead. just steal it here. And it's a crit Another to steal crit. it. Yo, John needs to go play the, the lottery tonight. Those crits today have been ridiculous. Go get your tickets. Go get your scratch, <laughs> scratch tickets right now. Dude. Walk out of the venue. Go to the gas station. Get your scratch Dude, tickets. The back-to-back -back crits like that has been disgusting. That's insane. Oh. That's some wild, wild luck. If I was Patrick, I'd have that little voice in my head being like, damn, you got lucky. Yeah. You got that. But you lucky know what? Again, in this, in this game, it. there was a couple really big choices that changed everything. Yeah, 100%. But well, we can definitely figure things out here. You know, we got from game one. It was the same team as game two, so 
I you really, know, I really want to see some thinking like in the behind the head now. Where it's yeah. like, what is the next move? If my my team worked the first time, it did, didn't work the second time. What adaptation can I make to show them that I'm not scared of what they're bringing? Right. You know, maybe you just go back to that first team. You saw it work. You saw your opponent didn't want to change anything. Right. Maybe just run it back. And I, I he brought Rilla Boom the second game too, right? Yes. Yes. He had, so, he had the exact same team both. I, I Maybe think not he, the same order, but the same he team. About the same team. I think he really wanted to not bring Kirk in because it didn't really do too much, and he was just playing the terrain battle. Right. I wanted to see if they could win without even having to implement that strategy into the next fight. Right. right. But you had that Pinchurchin setting up your Iron Hands, and your Iron Hands... The MVP. Sweeped house that first That game. is the LeBron James of the team right now. Yes. Nothing but dunks. You want to play around that Iron Hands. It's, uh... It's Iron Hands versus King Gambit in that kind of sense, I feel like. Right. Where those are your two star players, so to speak. And I feel like um, uh, John has nothing to, no reason to bring um, the po like, the Pokemon that are weak. like Because uh, the other part, um, Patrick has so many counter picks to the two Pokemon he's not bringing right. to the battle. So I feel like bringing his own his same team, but just tripping the, the order. Behind. So. Let, him, let him rest. They've, they've earned a day off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. King Gambit, Rillaboom. Same start it's always been. Okay, we're going. But it's defined on speed. So Rillaboom is faster, so he'll get the... I think I'm pretty sure it's speed uh, priority when it comes to who gets the train up. Oh, but the slower Pokemon gets it up. Second, oh. yes. So I think that is the preferable way to do it, and that gets the Quark Drive up. Whoa, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Not a good start for John. No, that's a bad way to see things going, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see... A three-peat? Are we going to see the three-peat of turn one Terrestrialize? The Poison King Gambit? Yeah. Like, Get that sword stance again, don't maybe? Want, don't want anybody ever tell you you're toxic. Tell yourself you're toxic by acting Terrestrialization. Yeah. The poison, you know? Yeah, yeah. Embrace the inner toxicity. <laughs> Play League of Legends. Oh, I can't. Guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do, do that. that. I'm just kidding. I, I play League of Legends. Don't do it. <laughs> Get out. Save yourselves. I could get into a whole tired about that, but we're not going to deal with uh, how strong Ari is. We're going to deal about how strong with this Pinchurchin is. Oh, never mind. Just, just so just strong, it's going to run away. And he's like, you know what? I heard they're saying I'm out. It did its job. Oh. And now we're getting Tornadoes. The debut in. of the Tornadoes. Yes, and the Protect. Very defensive turn. Okay, wait. So did we do it? Did we do the setup again? Oh, uh, but he tries to fake out into... Fake out was protected. The Iron Hands. Let me see it. Swords Dance? Yes, Swords sir. Dance with no Terrestrialize. Opted might, you might see it the second turn. I can't help with the first turn. I'm pretty sure there was a very similar setup. Okay, so Tornadus, the debut here, is very known for like a set of, for setting up the speed control of the game. Like, you'll see it in events. You'll see them use like Tailwind. You'll see them use Icy Wind. You'll see them, you know, basically controlling the weather, like Storm from the X Men. Very much, yes. I really want to see if that's going to come into play because I, it doesn't feel like speed has been an issue in these battles. But I, I, I want to see if that's a, another idea or psychology that they're having into this, where maybe I just need to be a little faster than them. Right. I mean, we did see that tailwind that came through in game two. And I mean, John took it. I'm not sure how much of an impact it played, but it definitely didn't do nothing. Yo, nothing is more stressful when the 10 second timer goes down. Oh, yeah. Made yeah, a it's move like, yet. Oh, oh, I gotta go. I gotta, I go. gotta go. I don't care how bad this is. I gotta make that choice. Can they switch? It's the flutter. I like this. It lets you kind of match. Uh, what happened with the uh, terrain swap. So now, right. if Pinercia comes out, you can swap back in with the real move, and you'll have to win. So King Gambit, there once, it is, there's again, the Terrestrialize. Activates the poison, Terrestrialize. <laughs> Big screen. What's the next move? Oh, there it is, the reverse side. Tailwind from Tornadoes. There it is. That's the speed coming up. And Iron Man's oh. using the sword dance now. Okay. These players are out for blood. They're going to duff one another to be speed. Now I believe on the Tornadus, one shot and it's gone. Okay, Tornadus did its job though. It activates the speed. It, did. it got that tailwind through. So that's the most important thing that we got to see there. But now we've got the sword stance versus the sword stance. And Iron Bundle <laughs> is going to come out for the fork drive as well. Get as much value as you can out of this electric terrain. Ooh, that might be really big. Right now, Hadrian's bringing out its, its killers. Bringing out its all-star MVPs of the team. It's a little like LeBron and Kobe coming up. Take on the Celts. Like, they, he wants to kill these two Pokemon across from him and be in a huge advantage. Yep. Next, uh, next turn. Right now, we have a little bit of an advantage from John right now. Still has all four Pokemon, whereas Patrick, down one, but not possible to turn it around. Very much not possible to turn it around. 
You just need one good play, one good move. Maybe a lucky crit here and there. Oh, and with Waterman gonna go, are we gonna see Rillaboom oh, come Rillaboom. back in to get the terrain? You know what, this will take some damage off of the Iron Hands' hits, where, where it's gonna matter. Because I know Sword Dance boosted it a bit, but every, every hit matters. Yep, and that gets rid of both Force Rides, actually. Interesting. Okay, that can take zone. Use Booster Energy to keep it up. I like oh, that idea. Oh, nice. Just in case anything occurs. Yeah. Just to have that backup. And we're going to see some Astralize come through. It's going to be the Iron Hands. It is. The Fire Iron Hands. Straight heat. Straight heat. Okay, that's a nice chandelier on top of the set. I don't know why it's a Pokemon name. It's a chandelier, but chandeliers never changed my mind. We can protect, okay? That's gonna be big. Also, okay, no. I thought I thought that was Iron Hands protecting itself as well. I was like, damn, full protection turn. Oh, it kills! It might kill. Oh, no. not very effective, but still doing half health. That did a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, that's the power of fire. Versus grass, it still burns brightly. Yeah, but it, that the Swords Dance boost for that was big because now you can see how much, how much damage it's taking. That next turn might just be, and you know he won't die because the grass terrain will give him that extra HP. Right. right. Actually, I still think that was enough damage to take it. I guess it depends on the damage variance. You know whether that was a high or low roll. You can always get a crit too. Yeah, you never know. You can always get that crit. Will he, will he chance it for crit? I think it'd be funny. I've seen people win those. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, I. I they do get the crit. I'm. I'm I, I will not believe it. It is a bit of a slower Pokemon, so you might lose it. Good switch. Are they going to get the Swapping the Iron Bundle? Terrain? Oh, is this going to be... Yes, yeah. it is. So now it's going to 100% kill. But we're going to see, like, will Real will Real Boom go fast enough before the uh, Iron Hands? Right. Can we get rid of the Iron Hands before it does it? Before it, it does, does that. You might stay alive that way. No, the Drain Punch going to yeah, come through. Yeah. But that's a little scary because it doesn't... Um, King Gambit have a sword dance up too right now? It does. That's a little scary because for all we know, someone's going down. Another person Pokemon is going down this turn. Let's see what the King Gambit went for. Now that I it's going on the Pin Urchin. That was actually a really good swap. I like that, yeah. Not only do you protect your Iron Bundle, but you set up you like your terrain. Iron Hands. You yeah. get rid of the Rillaboom. So no more terrain battling. It's just going to be electric terrain for the rest of the match. And that just means Iron Hands is going to do so much more damage. That if I was John, I would be really worried right now. Right, and that Iron Hands is also currently moving faster than the King Gambit, which means I think the star player might be taking things home right now. I'd be a little concerned. I'd be trying to get out some speed. Okay. And we're seeing Roaring Moon. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Need something to deal with that Iron Hands. I think that might just be the play to go for. No, I, that last turn really indicates that they don't care who's going down. They just want to start taking out Pokemon so they can get into a more advantageous position here. Right. As you see, we're both down to, I'm pretty sure, our last two Pokemon in the battle. No, we still do have the Fluttermane sitting in the back. That, that's... Fluttermane has not gone down game, yet. Game changer. So you might see Iron in hand. You really want to take something out. Okay. Right. My thought is you're probably going to want to get rid of the Iron Hands first, though, because as we've been talking about, that's the start play. Oh, Missed the Pretend. No. Oh, no. <laughs> punch failed. And that's, he gets the wind. Oh, that's man. game changing. That wild charge is going to take it down King Gambit. What? Uh -oh. oh my uh -oh. God! Uh oh, that's not uh -oh. good. Oh no! Oh no! When, when your all star is out, what, what are you gonna do? That is the worst time for a sucker punch to fail. Oh boy! I mean, Tailwind petering out. Oh, but they're, they're literally just down to the new tailwind is set up, but it's Fluttermane Roaring Moon versus this insanely set up Iron Hands. With only a little bit of damage on it, an Iron Bundle. I, I mean, prioritize the Iron Hands. Yeah, Patrick was playing the long con, making yeah. sure to like knock and punch, knock and knock down on some pawns, set up the king. Yeah, zone king. The Get Iron your kings. Hand. You got a lot of iron on the side. Iron Bundle, Iron Hands. Oh. Gosh. It's past versus future. You got the Flutter Moon and the Roaring Moon. That's so true. Versus Iron Bundle. Scarlet Iron versus Hands. Violet, right there here. There you go. Oh, man. It all comes down to it in the end. What are we going to see here? I love these some Paradox Pokemon. This is so sick. This is a really good matchup. Oh. These guys are playing so good. They're very close battle. All right. That's it all comes down, I think, to can we get rid of this Iron Hands? Are you going to be able to do it? Acrobatics going on the Iron Bundle. Does no damage. Oh, Shadow Ball. 
okay, we're just trying to get rid of the Iron Bundle right now. Okay, I like that. I think you can like, kind of like next turn double up on Iron Hands if if you can survive this hit. Which I think it's going to happen. Five charge takes down the Fluttermane, and it becomes a battle of Roaring Moon versus Iron Hands. Iron Hands, a little bit damaged by the recoil, but what's your best offensive move on this Roaring Moon? Not to mention, Iron Hands is at a huge type advantage. Oh, yeah. Flying types are cannot handle these electric moves. On the electric terrain, I don't even know if it's still terrained up right now. It's still terrained oh, up. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, exactly. survivability, I like it. Gives you one turn. Gives you more time to think. I like that idea. Great oh, punch to go at it. Maybe they didn't want to show their full hand just yet. You know, pop a drain punch real quick. Yeah. Get get an idea of what your opponent's gonna do. Yeah. But you gotta see. you gotta use something here. You gotta find an option. Knock off. Oh, that did so much damage. That did a lot. That gets rid of the clear amulet. But will this kill? Oh. oh. Super effective. Gonna take it down. A little bit of healing on top. Oh God. Not healing on top. Never mind. It doesn't even matter. The game's already over. But Patrick gonna take it two to one. That was crazy start. I think if that knockoff crit, it would have been the game. Over. Yeah, so that was that was the win con. It was good targeting because you need to always target down the floater main because it can't protect. And then when you know that you can drain punch the Roaring Moon all the time. I didn't realize I thought Roaring Moon was was a flying type. No, I, I, so most uh, of them most Flooring Moons up uh, Roaring Dra Moons Dragon? they go to Terra Flying to get acrobatics boosting Terra Flying. Stab. Makes a lot of sense after we saw acrobatics from Roaring Moon there. You okay. Know, so that means they're dragon. That, that, the, the genetic Pokemon itself is a dragon type. Yeah, the yeah. base typing of Roaring Moon is dark dragon. I got hit with the Charizard effect there for a minute. I guess it's fire, fire flying. Should be a dragon. dragon. Yeah. 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 It is dark dragon. Okay, so that is the end of round one. Congrats cool. to Patrick for moving on to 1-0. Oh, that's so cute. Yep, Aww, that's, that's, a little, that. that's our little applause. Okay, so we're going to be taking a quick break. We'll begin round two pairings momentarily, so stay tuned and we'll be back soon. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.